Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Today we got a lot of stuff to do. The normal chores are gonna take quite a bit longer. Yesterday we got four inches of rain. Today I'm gonna check the rain gauge and see see exactly how much we've gotten in the last two days, but I'm guessing we got another inch or inch and a half last night, so. Looks like we got right at an inch and a half last night. So with five and a half inches of rain in 48 hours, all of the fields, since we are on relatively flat ground, um, most of the fields are just little swamps. But today it is supposed to get up to 66, I think. So it'll be warm today. Um, sun's supposed to be out. So hopefully we can get some of this a little dried out. And with all this rain and warm temps, the grass should really just take off, which is exciting. Um, that means spring is here. But because the fields are basically swamps, uh, I can't feed with a truck. This truck sinks like a rock um, anytime it's wet. And so I did move the cows into a hilly pasture yesterday uh, for this reason, because I knew we wouldn't be able to feed. So um, I'm gonna be feeding with the tractor today, rolling the bales down the hills. Yeah, so that will take a little bit longer than normal. After that, gotta ear tag some new calves. I'm gonna check and make sure there aren't any um, calving right now. Then of course I will show you guys some of the miniature calves, which is probably the title of this video um, That'll be there towards the end. So Anyway, big day got a lot of stuff to get done uh, before I gotta head to work I gave that group of cows two bales just to keep them distracted. I'll need a couple more. Uh, but I'm gonna go check and see if there's any new calves. I definitely saw one of mine. She had just calved. Uh, so that'll be an easy one to catch. But the ones that were born yesterday in the rain, I was not able to catch because it was pouring down rain. So those are over 24 hours old. They're gonna be tough, but we're gonna have to do it. Gotta ear tag them. Okay, that one was born last night, and gotta get my ear tags here. Our puppy, he's managed to grab this out of the ranger and he spread it all over the yard, so that is why it is dirty. Um, short one here. Okay, so one and two are done. 
I had two born yesterday, so what I'm gonna try to do is in order. This new one here will be number five. up we're gonna see if we can grab this little guy how's it going buddy about to get your ear pierced You're all good. Okay, that's a heifer. Thought it was a bull, but she did a good job. Had her, had her on her own. So she didn't clean her off as much as I'd like to see, but she's doing okay. So. Okay, those are the two we need. My oldest calf, she's the one running around there. Um, the other ones are my dad's. They also calved yesterday, so we had a total of four born yesterday. And uh, let me get their tags ready. This one, it doesn't matter which one's three or four, they're both born the same day. Like I said, these two were born probably 36 hours ago, so they're going to be tough to catch. That one's a bull, the black one's a bull, the red white face is a heifer. And he is peeing right now, so this may be my opportunity. Hey big guy. It also doesn't help his mother's right here. Okay, he's good. This this heifer is a little more ornery. I have a feeling she isn't gonna like me too well. Okay, you weren't difficult whatsoever. No. Okay, maybe you are. Slip this on. You're good to go. There we go. And I don't know what my problem is trying to catch those calves. I should have had them by the leg a lot sooner than I did, but for my job, I catch a lot of chickens. And somehow I can catch a chicken better than I can catch a baby calf. So, <laughs> anyway, now. Now let's go check the new miniature baby calves. So guys, let's talk miniatures. You see, we got our group of replacement heifers here that we kept back. And these should be bred heifers now. Um, we took the bull out a couple weeks ago, so they should be they should be good to go and we'll get them preg checked here soon and make sure they're all gonna calve this fall. But um, so yeah, these heifers are half Hereford, quarter Angus, quarter Gelby. And so 
I know I've told you guys that multiple times, but um, for any new viewers, that is what these heifers are. We really liked the uh, Angus Gelby crosses, and uh, I always liked Herefords and Black Baldies, and so my dad, I don't know, five or six years ago, let me pick out some Herefords, and that's why we're that's why we're getting black baldies now. So anyway, that's a little bit of a background on these heifers. They should just now be getting bred. Um, they should be calving this fall. And that means they will be calving at two years old exactly. I had mentioned a couple videos back that there was one in here that was looking like she was about to calve. And that did happen. So um, let me try to find him. He's somewhere in here. He's so small, he's hard to find. <laughs> there he is. He's somewhere back here. There he is. So, there's his mother, and there's him. That heifer there, she probably only weighs 780, maybe 800 pounds if I'm lucky. So you may be wondering why on a beef farm we would breed anything to a miniature bull. And uh, let's just say this was a freak accident, and uh, this was not planned. So. Uh, these heifers, they were in a field up against a neighboring property. And that neighbor has a full-blood miniature Hereford bull. And out of that full-blood miniature Hereford bull, he also has a half miniature Hereford, half Dexter. So his miniature Hereford bull, he is not, he can't reproduce now. He has an injury, he can't reproduce. So I wasn't worried when his bull broke into these heifers, but that half Dexter, half miniature Hereford, he did make it in here and he can breed. So... Um, I knew there'd be one that would calve at least. I'm pretty sure that red heifer there also got bred, so she could be calving anytime here soon as well. Uh, there is one more here. That one right there in the middle. She's also, I think, one that did get bred. So that little calf over there is out of a half miniature Hereford, half Dexter bull. And she'll let me get close. I'll try to, I'll try to show you him a little bit better. And uh, so she did calf all on her own. We came out this little calf. Like I said, she only weighs about 780 pounds. This calf, this calf weighed maybe 35 when it was born. This calf's a couple weeks old now. And uh, I just haven't had time to show you guys. And of course she's run away. So she calved him out perfectly fine. And within 15 minutes he was up and sucking. So that was really impressive. Um, he was even born in the snow, so um, he was a really active baby calf there, which I'm happy with. And the fact that she had him on her own, which she should have, he only weighed 30 some pounds or 40 maybe. So, so anyway, I'm expecting another one or two of these to actually calve out of that half miniature Hereford, half Dexter bull. And uh, once again, you don't have to worry about birth weights because they'll throw a tiny calf. We don't plan on keeping any calves out of heifers. Um, as replacements but we may keep that bull raise him up and have a half a bull that we know will throw little calves so we'll take a little we'll take a little 50 pound calf over a 85 pound one that we had to pull so so anyway that's the story behind the miniature calf uh no it wasn't planned will we have a few more i'm assuming we will honestly i don't think it's a, such a bad deal we get a calf six months earlier than we should have and uh, the calves are coming out, or so far, the calf has come out alive. Who knows? I may dabble in getting another miniature bull or something just for heifers later on down the road. Who knows? But that's the story behind the miniatures. No, we're not going to be a full-fledged miniature cow breeder, but we may have a few on the place just for the heck of it. So, so anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, the next video I'm going to post will be posted on Thursday. Please stay tuned for that. That will be coming out Thursday morning. Uh, probably around 9 30 central time i'm wearing the same clothes right now that you will see in that video because i just finished filming that one so um, i'm gonna start trying to post twice a week uh, since i have a little more time on my hands and we got calves coming everywhere and there's just a lot of stuff going on so anyway appreciate you guys watching if you could hit that subscribe button if you have not already and the like button as well with that being said i will see you guys next time